वंदे गुरु परंपराम I welcome all of you with my love and respects. I welcome all the devotees, disciples, samajis, satsangis, Sri Mahans, Mahans, Tanedar, Kotari, owners of Sarvanya Peta, everyone sitting with us all over the world. Through Nityananda TV, Sadhana TV, Ara TV, Nakshatra TV, and two way video conferencing, having Naina Diksha. City is sitting with us in two way video conferencing, having Naina Diksha. Warrington, UK, Singapore, Adinam, Hyderabad, Adinam, Puduvai, Adinam, Morris Plains, New York, Bangalore North, Houston, Adinam. Hyderabad Gupta Kashi, Ponca City, Oklahoma, and Morris Plains, New York, Dubai Adinam, San Jose Adinam, Los Angeles Adinam, Oklahoma Adinam, Seattle Adinam, Phoenix Adinam, Philadelphia, Toronto Adinam, Kuala Lumpur Adinam, Montclair, Redmond, Oman Adinam, and some more cities are joining. I welcome all of you with my love and respects. Hyderabad Gupta Kashi, Salem Adinam. Welcome all of you with my love and respects. I just wanted to expand on Sambudim cha vinasancha yastatveto bayagum saha vinase namrutyum tirtva sambudyam ratamashnute. The Isavasya Upanishads, 11th verse. Please recite along with me. 14th verse of the Isavasya Upanishads. Sorry, not 11th, 14th. Recite. Sambudimcha Vinasamcha Yastatveto Bayagusa Vinasena Mrityam Tirtva Sambudhyam Radhamashnute. Listen. Understand. Cognize your existence. Cognize the existence of the Life, universe, God, everything with a larger vision. Listen. Why you do what you do? Why you think the way you think? Should be based on Larger vision of life, not just a immediate agitation gratification. Please understand all your so-called luxury, the sensory pleasures are agitation gratification. Please understand. The agitation you feel in the tongue, you gratify it 
with the food which destroys your health but gives you temporary gratification. Please understand. In Agama, Mahadeva describes what is taste. If your whole tongue and the mouth experiences the saliva, that is taste, that will never happen by the food which gives you the pleasure of agitational gratification. Please understand. High spicy are this junk food. All this, if you see, it will not allow the whole mouth to work. If you look a little deep, even you know all this junk food after eating within three, four minutes. You are depressed, tired, bored, want to sleep. How many of you have recognized the immediate effect of junk food on your body? Raise your hand. That is what is agitational gratification. I can give you some more. I'll give you some more example. The music which agitates your lust and gives you gratification. The scenes, like a pornography, which agitates you and gratifies you. The vulgar, hard, hardcore pornography, which agitates you and gratifies you. Whether it is through the eyes or ears or the nose or the tongue or the touch, the agitational gratification items will always be short-term gold with a very short vision. If you see the agitational gratification items, you will not have even vision about your own 100 years lifespan. The more and more you expand your cognition of your lifespan, better and better your strategies for life become. Please understand, if you think you are going to live for 100 years, you know from the beginning how you are supposed to maintain your stomach, how you are supposed to maintain your body, how you are supposed to keep your mind. If you are too brilliant and understand, it is not just 100 years, it is going to be birth and death, birth and death. Then you know how you are supposed to keep everything. The shorter you cognize your existence, you will go for agitational gratification practices. Means which gratifies you now, whether hook or crook or agitation or whatever which excites you now, which agitates you now, that becomes pleasure. Please understand, even the word pleasure has a different meaning for a different kind of people. If you think you are going to live for 100 years, beef and the non-veg can never become part of your diet. It can never become part of your diet because that food agitates you to gratify you. By agitating you, anything brings gratification. The pleasure itself is a very low level pleasure because your cognition about you is very low. So your cognition about pleasure is very low.
if you think your life span your existence is much more then the idea of your pleasures will di become different the ideas about your pleasure will become different understand if you think you are going to be having births and deaths births and deaths that's the truth till you are enlightened the births and deaths is going to be your life cycle then simply you know what is going to be your pleasure what is going to be your pain what should be your pleasure what should be your pain having a larger vision more clear vision about you actually when you have more clear vision about you all your actions will be aligned to that your pleasure what do you consider as pain what do you consider as pleasure what do you consider as good what do you consider as bad everything will become different if what you consider as you changes what do you consider as you if that changes if you start understanding what do you consider as you is little more than the immediate life you are observing a common man looks at only the 20 25 years he is supposed to live healthily with all the so called pleasure by the time 25 he will have little money and freedom to do what he wants and by the time he is 50 over everything so this 25 years only you consider as life that's if you consider only this 25 years as you and plan that is what i call very very short vision then all your strategies about you life everything will be vinasamcha means destructible based on destructible if your strategies are based on something destructible do not enjoy do not expect long term peace or bliss because your strategy itself is not for that when you are building your house itself you are building with bamboo can concrete which life span is only 20 years and then you expect your fourth generation to live in that house you make a wall this is for the photograph of all my first generation then this is my sons and daughters that is for my grandsons and granddaughters that is for my great grandsons and grand great granddaughters the house itself is going to live only 20 years agitational gratification understand today i am using a new word if you look in and analyze a little bit of looking in is required look in and analyze all your short term goals will be agitational gratification which agitates you and gratifies you even laziness early morning how you are breathing and life that decides how you are going to be whole day the morning kirtan 
why this kirtan you know two reason one when you sing and dance the joy becomes your bio memory muscle memory second you will have a strong long breath morning having a strong long breath is very good for your health that is why i saw few people who are sitting and waiting for the breakfast to be served i think with shoga understood the tone i with which i said i said here nobody is serving breakfast get lost then he understood i am not asking you to go asking him to go back i am asking him to participate in the kirtan <laughs> understand this two word agitation gratification delayed gratification when you think you are going to exist only this 20 25 years which is in your in front of your eyes you will always apt for you will up for only agitational gratification things now what 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 next what next if you understand your life 100 years your life is 100 years you are pleasures pain also will transform it will take a different shape and if you understand you have many births and deaths in front of you your ideas about pleasure will change your ideas about pain will change your life will not be harmonally hijacked this hormonal hijack understand the word i am using hormones hijacking you is one of the worst thing can happen to human being when the hormones hijack you gone before even you open your eyes life is over i always tell people marriage is the bailable offense and child is unbailable offense, non bailable offense <laughs> marriage is bailable any time you can get bail and escape once you have a kid non bailable <laughs> it's non bailable anyhow that is much the lighter lighter note listen we don't even need to look into those things at least look into this two word agitational gratification and delayed gratification anything which makes you get into this agitational gratification is the mental setup based on perishable means you are worshiping perishable when you are worshiping perishable you are bound to be perished you are planning to get perished then don't try to cry when the perishing happens to you because you planned for it you asked for it you worked for it you are having it why are you crying when you get it if you worked for name and fame you will have it if you worked for money you will have it if you worked for love you will have it what far you worked you will have that 
if you worked with the perishable understanding worshiping the perishable you will perish the agitational gratification whether it is food or sound or visual or smelling or the touch in any sense even imagination the mind which is totality of all these five in any level if agitational gratification is your goal if that is what you perceive as pleasure if that is what you perceive as the goal of life please understand you are worshiping perishable and you are bound to be destroyed whether it's a taste or touch or seeing or smelling or listening in everything if you are functioning based on the principle of delayed gratification means a long term vision about you and about what is pleasure and what is pain actually when you have a true understanding a right understanding about you even the quality of food you enjoy will become different the quality of visual you enjoy will become different the quality of music you enjoy will become different the quality of smell you enjoy will become different the type of the touch you enjoy will become different it will all be based on delayed gratification i wanted today's vakyarth sadas to be on these two words agitational gratification and delayed gratification whenever you are enjoying what you consider as pleasure please see are you agitated are you peaceful are you agitated are you enjoying are you grasping are you grabbing grasping a person is love grabbing a person is lust understand there is a difference whether you are tasting a food or seeing some visual listening to any music or enjoying a smell or enjoying a touch or a sexual act look in are you agitated or are you in the mood of peace and enjoying are you celebrating or are you agitatively pushing you if you are agitated be very clear you are based on perishable and you are planning to get perished when you perish don't cry because you planned for it you asked for it when you are understanding about changes when you are really in when your taste is matured that's the right word i wanted you to understand when your taste is matured the matured taste shows the matured person 
then you are strategizing yourself. You are cognizing yourself and strategizing your life on imperishable. I tell you, there is no shortcut. Straight, perishable, imperishable. Are you cognizing yourself and strategizing your life on perishable? Or are you cognizing yourself and strategizing your life on imperishable? Over. Truth is the truth is the truth. Straight. How much ever this light theologians, I am using a new word, the light theologians means who are trying to meet both the ends. No, little love, little smile, little laughter and enjoy everything and God will also come to you through your back door. No. No. Upanishads which declares authenticity by its own authority is very clear. Sambudinja vinashanja yastatvedo bayagam saga vinashena mrityun dirtva sambudyam mrtamashnate. Either you cognize yourself and strategize your life on perishable or on imperishable. Clear. Don't be cheated by these light theologians. Largest number of human beings are misguided by these light theologians. L-I-T-E, not L-I-J-H-T, no. L-I-T-E. I can give better give a, I can give better word. Light beer theologians. <laughs> now they will be little. Please understand this light theologians are the largest I can say Light theologians are the fellows who are putting people into delusion, misguiding. The largest number of human beings are misguided by these light theologians. Because they try to give you the confidence. No, no. Build your cognition and strategize your life on perishable. But you will be imperishable. How? I am not against fun, love, life, laughter, but I am against these light theologians giving you wrong interpretation and hope. For their entertainment circus tickets to get sold. They do not care about your life. They do not care about your future. Today for their show, if they sell few thousand tickets more, that is enough. The light theologians. That is why they don't care about whether you build, you cognize and strategize yourself, 
based on imperishable or perishable. They say, come on, don't think too seriously, because he himself cannot think. If he thinks something serious, he becomes tired. So what to do? Don't take things seriously. Love. Love. What do you know about love? What will you know about love if you cognize yourself as a perishable, short-term, existing being? I tell you, these light theologians are the greatest cheaters. They are not teachers. Just reverse it. Cheaters. Laughter. I am not talking about the laughter which comes from lips or throat. Laughter which comes from your bottom of the belly knowing the whole cosmos is choke. The dance not just to forget you are depression for five minutes. The disco te cabre, no. It is with the cosmic understanding of the whole thing is dancing. <laughs> Vibrating. A drunkard dances, Mahadeva also is dancing. Both are completely different. The drunkard's dance is like theologian's dance. Mahadeva's dance is an imperishable understanding, cognizing about himself and strategizing about his existence. Cognizing yourself as imperishable and strategizing yourself on imperishable is the only way to exist and become imperishable. Do not get cheated by light theologians. One good thing, inside Varanasi, Mahadeva never allows this light theologians. Kalabairava is still protecting Varanasi. <laughs> Kalabairava is still alive. Understand The essence of what I am trying to convey through this verse. Your cognition about you should be based on imperishable components. Means soul, consciousness, which does not perish. Your understanding and idea about you should be that you are a consciousness, you are a soul, which doesn't perish which is imperishable and based on that cognition strategize your life. Based on that cognition have, develop the taste of good, bad, right, wrong, pleasure, pain. Don't cognize yourself just perishable body or mind. And don't build 
strategize your life based on this perishable cognition then your pleasure pain everything will be too short small agitational gratification you will be you will be killing yourself with agitational gratification as your pleasure just a itching you feel on the body and scratching it all your pleasures will be nothing more than scratching maybe with a different object different person different parts that's all more visually i don't want to describe scratching yourself with a different object different person different places is not pleasure that's what i call agitational gratification just to gratify your agitation what you do you call that as pleasure you call that as a joy let you be clear your cognition be based on imperishable your strategies for life be based on imperishable your idea about pain and pleasure be based on imperishable then you will be imperishable means akshara you will be in the space of akshara imperishable blessed are those who live in the space of imperishable and celebrate the life with a delayed gratification cursed are those who cognize based on perishable and live based on agitational gratification this is the essence i am trying to convey through various words in this whole satsang beating around the bush i think now i have beaten the center of the bush the last few statements i did not use the social politeness i am straight i have beaten the center of the bush not beating around the bush look in look in don't be afraid to re-strategize yourself and reinvent yourself shake your whole life and rebuild it don't be afraid never something is too late never something is too late never something is too late even if you are going to die in next 15 minutes 15 minutes is too much time Fifteen minutes is too much time. Whether you are going to die within next fifteen minutes or fifteen years or fifty years or fifteen hundred years, it's not too late. Come back to imperishable. Let not hormones hijack your consciousness and cognition about you. let the hormonal hijack not happen in your life let hormones not be strategizers of your life let the agitational pleasures not be decision makers in your life the agitational pleasures should not be the decision makers in your existence
go on, go on, go on with the imperishable cognition. You will worship imperishable, not confusion. You will worship imperishable, not perishable. That is what Upanishad declares as worshipping imperishable consciousness. Understanding the difference between these two, what you are worshipping, understand don't be cheated by light theologians sanatana dharma sanatana hindu dharma suffers with this light theologians more than any other religious leaders, I tell you. Even other religious leaders are not harming Sanatana Dharma so much than these light theologians. With this, I give you the essence. Agitational gratification or Delayed gratification. That's the essence. That's a subject for today's Vakyartha Sadas. I also have one more great announcement. This time, Akil Bharatiya Akada Parishat means the largest apex body of Hinduism under which 13 Akadas and 10 lakh sannyasis, 1 million sadhus live, the organization which conducts the Kumbha Mela is directly conducting the Kumbha Mela in USA on October 24th in Los Angeles. The Kumbha Mela is going to be directly conducted by Akil Bharati Akada Parishat. It has authorized Nityananda University to conduct the Kumbha Mela in USA. So this time USA Kumbha Mela assumes the sanctity and significance. It is conducted by Akil Bharati Akada Parishat which is conducting all the Kumbha Melas, which is responsible for all the Kumbha Melas. First time, Kumbh is coming to USA. It's official. It's official now. The Akil Bar, the Akada Parishat, the largest apex body of Hinduism, is conducting USA Kumbha Mela. Kumbha, US Kumbha Mela 2015. So don't miss Kumbha Mela. So now I have to say don't miss USA Kumbha Mela. The Kumbha water. Kumbh Tirtha has already reached USA and I commit with you guys, I'll plan by next year at least few Naga Sadhus will be flight there to US and we will have a legal permission and have literal Shai Snan Parade. <laughs> we will have Shai Snan Parade by next Kumbh Mela, USA Kumbh Mela. I think you just need to see the Shahi Snan Parade. 
they have not seen anything like this. So, let US Kumbh Mela happen this time. Next time, Shai Snan Parade. So, October 24th in Los Angeles, US Kumbh Mela is conducted by Akhil Bharati Akada Parishat directly and don't miss USA Kumbha Mela. <laughs> if you are living in US and missed Kumbha Mela in Nasik, don't miss Los Angeles Kumbha Mela. With this, I move to the next segment of the morning satsang. I bless you all. The next segment is Kalpatar Darshan. I bless you all. Let you all radiate with integrity, authenticity, responsibility, enriching, causing living Advaita, the eternal bliss, Nityananda. Thank you. Be blissful. Nityananda Dhyana Peetam, Nityananda Nagar, off Mysore Road, Bidadi, Bengaluru. Phone 080 2727 www.nityananda.org www.youtube.com slash lifebliss foundation